Hello everyone, it's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Quick video, I like to go into depth of the new function that's been placed into SDR Uno version 1.40.2 and that is profiles. I did do a showcase video a couple videos back on the channel uh, just quickly demonstrating the profile function within SDR Uno but in this video I like to go into it a little bit more in depth so stick around and let's get this video going. Imagine the SDR Uno profile function as a record of the radio setup not by how it looks but by what it does. A STR Uno profile is simply a record of the STR Uno setup, except for the workspace layout information. The profile function is now part of the STR Uno memory panel, as you can see here. If you don't see the memory panel, you can click the memory panel button within the main panel. This will load the memory panel. The memory panel is divided into two sections, the upper and the lower. The upper section is used for memory banks, and the lower section is used for storing and loading SDR Uno profiles. So now let's go over the profile functions. From page 70 of the SDR Uno version 1.40.2 manual, you will see the screen capture that I have loaded up on my screen, and it's going to show the different functions that are available using the profile feature within the memory panel of SDR Uno. You have load selected profile, and these are available by right clicking within the profile pane within the memory panel. If you right click on the pane in the profile section you will see the various options that appear. So you have a load selected profile and what that does is that loads the selected profile within the profile panel. You have store profile as and that saves a new profile. Delete selected profile and that deletes the selected profile that you have selected refresh the profile list will refresh the file listing within the profiles panel and hide the left panel which will hide the profiles section from view. The very last button within the profile function in the memory panel is store profile and what store profile does is places SDR Uno settings into a user created profile that can be recalled. Newly created profiles are stored in the SDR Uno data directory. You can see this data directory by navigating to the main panel, clicking the OPT button, and selecting Open Data Directory in Explorer. Double clicking a stored profile from the profile listing will recall the stored profile setting instantly. A profile is a config file that contains the radio setting for a specific RSP and VRX combination in SDR Uno. A profile is just the radio configuration and does not contain any panel, layout, or state information. Profiles are not a copy of the INI file and should not be confused as INI files. Any profile can be recalled into SDR Uno as long as the same RSP type and number of VRXs are used that were used when creating the profile. When using multiple VRXs, you can recall the profile you must have a matching number of VRXs open to that saved in the profile. Workspaces are not saved as part of the profile. The number of VRXs currently open in SDR Uno must match the number of VRXs in the profile you're trying to load. You don't have to worry about multiple VRXs versus single VRX. The profile system supports both ways of working. If you have one VRX open and try to load a profile with two VRXs, then it will error and tell you what you've done wrong. When I posted my profiles video back in November, the video quickly showcased this function. I demonstrated custom profiles for the 40 meter band, monitoring an NDB on 332 down on LF. I also showed a profile specific to monitoring UVB 76 on 4625 upper sideband. And I wrapped up the video by demonstrating a profile that made use of multiple VRXs. The profile I created recalled specific outputs to specific VRXs, which is extremely powerful. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link in the description. Speaking of powerful, wait until the new schedule function is released in SDR Uno version 1.41. The SDR Uno profile function will tie in real nicely with this new scheduler. The first profile I created, I labeled it as default. My default profile consists of my own default settings within SDR Uno. This makes it much easier for me to recall my radio settings after testing different radio configurations. If I make a mistake, I can easily recall my own default settings by recalling my default profile. 
I use my default profile as a template for additional profiles that I might create later on. When monitoring NDBs, I recalled a profile that I created which enabled the medium wave FM notch filter. It also changed the VFO frequency, which is going to be 332, and it also changed the mode, which I selected as upper sideband. I also wanted to make use of SDR Uno's noise reduction, so I enabled it. And finally, I adjusted the main SP's refresh rate. The radio settings I chose are not necessary uh, for monitoring NDBs. They're not specific to monitoring NDB transmissions, but it's more of a personal preference of how I like to monitor NDBs within SDR Uno. So let's set that profile up. The UVB76 profile that I created simply changes my current VFO and mode, as well as disables the medium wave notch filter, and it finally restores the main SP refresh rate back to my default position. But let's use the default profile that I created as my template for creating the UVB76 profile that I'd like to create. So I will engage my default profile. The last profile that I demonstrated uh, showed multi VRX support within the profile system. I created a workspace with two VRXs, assigned independent outputs to each VRX. One VRX is using my primary sound card, and the second VRX is using my virtual audio cable. Each VRX is tuned to its own frequency and mode. Uh, I only needed to launch my decoder and select the virtual audio cable input within the decoder, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a uh, workspace that's already set with two VRXs. So let's go ahead and stop the stream. Let's add a VRX. Let's activate it. Let's recall our dual VRX workspace. Okay, that's looking good. Let's click play. We should be uh, in the 20 meter band, 14 to 25, which is the beginning of the general. That's for the voice portion of the band for a general. That's where it starts. And 14 to 30 for slow scan TV. And let's go ahead and verify that everything is good and then we'll save the profile and then we'll, we will recall it. Good, good. Let's save this. Store profile. That's our VRX profile. Let's go back to default. Now keep in mind, I have two VRXs open and I'm recalling a profile that only makes use of a single VRX. Let's see what happens. Perfect. So let's go ahead and Disable that VRX, delete it. Okay, we'll go back and we should be good to go. Let's click stop, add VRX, enable, select our VRX, VRX workspace, click play. Okay, we recalled our VRX profile and let's see that everything is working. And as you can see, everything is working. The output that I selected for the second VRX has been initiated and everything is running great. If you guys have any questions or comments, 
regarding SDR Uno profiles, please leave them in the video comments. I do my best to answer all comments as quickly as possible. You guys have a great day and warmest is 73. I'll see you in the next video.